right. Good afternoon. I am Costa Constantinidis, Chair of the Environmental Protection Committee. And today the committee will hear and, and vote on intro 54A, intro 717A, intro 880A, intro 978A, uh, 978D, intro 1629A, intro 1632A, and intro 1653B, an omnibus package of pollution reduction bills. Environmental laws are enacted to protect public health and the environment. This committee has a long history of enacting some of the most progressive and innovative laws in the country. The package of environmental bills to be voted on today are consistent with the work this committee has done over a number of years. Intro 54, sponsored uh, one of my bill, leads the way to the future by requiring the analysis of alternative fuels and the use of alternative fuels and technologies in the city ferry fleet. Intro 717A amends the administrative codes by strengthening idling violation citizen enforcement penalties and procedures for diesel trucks and buses. Intro 880A amends the administrative code by requiring the study of subsequent use of biofuels in the New York City buses, school buses. Intro 978D amends the administrative code with respect to mold assessment, mold abatement, and mold remediation in certain New York City buildings. Intro 1629A, also sponsored by myself, uh, amends the administrative code by requiring periodic consideration and adoption of a more stringent energy efficiency requirement for city buildings. Uh, intro 1632A amends the administrative code by requiring energy efficiency scores and grades for certain buildings and posting them in a visible place. And finally, intro 1653B amends the administrative code as it pertains to responses to noise complaints and measures to reduce noise pollution in New York City. Each local law proposed for enactment addresses pollution impacts on our air quality, our quality of life, and our commitments to subsequent generations pursuant to our 80 by 2050 mandate to protect public health and the environment now and in the future. With that, I will ask the sponsor of intro 1653B, Ben Kalos, to give some remarks on his bill. New York City may be the city that never sleeps, but that shouldn't be because of after hours construction noise waking you up. Uh, in fact, noise is the top complaint in New York City with booming construction surrounding residents who complain only to see their concerns go unaddressed for days or met with a small fine paid by developers as a cost of doing business. After hours noise will be targeted with new rules for responding when noise is still happening or likely to happen again. Turning down the volume on after hours construction noise in residential neighborhoods over the next two years and empowering the Department of Environmental Protection to shut down equipment that is too loud. I uh, want to thank DEP who helped improve this legislation as well as Environmental Committee Chair Costa Constantinides uh, and I urge the committee members to vote yes. Thank you, Cameron, Council Member Kalos, for your leadership. Uh, and, and I'll next uh, call on uh, the sponsor of intro 1632A, Council Member Dan Gorodnik, for his remarks. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, uh, for holding the vote today on 1632A, uh, which is a bill requiring large buildings to post their energy efficiency scores and associated grades near their public entrances. New York's buildings account for two-thirds of the energy that our city consumes and are our biggest contributors to global warming. Since we passed Local Law 84 in 2009, a law that I'm proud to have authored, New York City buildings over a certain size have been required to annually measure their energy and water consumption in a process called benchmarking. The law standardized this process by requiring building owners to enter their annual energy and water use in the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency's online tool, Energy Star Portfolio Manager, and to use the tool to submit data to the city. The scores generated by this tool indicate how efficient a building is relative to comparable buildings. Originally, the requirement applied only to buildings over 50,000 square feet. Last year, I led the effort to expand the universe of buildings subject to benchmarking requirements, and Local Law 133 extended benchmarking requirements to mid-sized buildings, those over 25,000 square feet. With Intro 1632, we are taking the next step. Going forward, buildings will be assigned a letter grade based on their energy score, and will be required to post that grade along with the energy score in a conspicuous location near their public entrances. 
This will make information about building energy use easily available to tenants and visitors, including prospective tenants and building purchasers, and presented in the easily understood form of a grade. This transparency initiative will promote interest in and better understanding of energy use by our city buildings. Tenants and buyers who value energy efficiency will push building owners to improve. They will reap the financial benefits and all of us will reap the environmental benefits. I'm pleased to help New York move toward a more sustainable future and I hope you all will join me in supporting this legislation. Again, Mr. Chairman, thank you very much for uh, moving the bill and for the opportunity to say a few words today. Thank you, Councilmember Gorodnik, and thank you for your leadership on the environment over the last 12 years. Uh, you'll be definitely missed the council, and thank you for all of your grace work. Uh, we also want to recognize members of the committee that are here today, Councilmember Lanceman and Councilmember Ulrich. Uh, with that, I'll ask the clerk to call the roll. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on environmental protection. All items are coupled. Chair Constantine D. Vote aye. Lanceman. Aye. Ulrich. Yes. By a vote of three in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, all items have been adopted by the committee. This being our last committee hearing of the year, I really want to extend a, uh, and the last committee hearing of the session, I want to really extend a thank you to our legislative attorney. She's been a rock star for the environment uh, for uh, her entire time here at the council. Thank you, Samara Swanston. We love you. Thank you for all the great work that you do. You've made New York City a greener, more sustainable place and we can never uh, repay the debt to you. So thank you, Samara. And uh, to Nadia Johnson and to our finance analyst, John Seltzer, really I want to extend a thank you for all of your hard work. Um, it's been a, a great time here as chair and really want to thank our speaker, Melissa Mark Viverito, for her leadership on the environment and all of our committee members um, who have been great champions as well. Thank you, it's been a pleasure to work with you all. And my legislative counsel, Nick Wazowski, with that, I will gavel this committee hearing closed.